I'd like to talk about the importance of your feelings of self-worth in spiritual practice. Now, recently I met a Rinpoche, Rinpoche from Mongolia, and a very beautiful person, very sweet person, and someone that grew up in an entirely different culture, cultural experience than me. He was recognized as an incarnation of a previous master, a previous Mongolian Lama. And so when he was a young child, they, he was found by some monks, by some followers of that previous incarnation and taken and raised in an environment and treated with a lot of respect and reverence from an early age. And I come from a culture where children are, are treated with, with love and kindness, but not treated as you know, reincarnated masters, necessarily. And yet, I, I, found a, a certain, I found a certain kinship and connection with this person, with this Rinpoche. You know, even though we come from very different backgrounds, and we have had a lot of different experiences, there was a, a certain solidarity and, and there was a definitely a, a comfortable flow and exchange between us, even though there wasn't really much in, in terms of language. And I, it helped me and it reflected my, my own questions, and my own um, you know, even longing to, to be special and to be significant, to be important. And the funny part is I, it showed me inside that, you know, even though I've never been you know, recognized or, or given some kind of you know, title or, or anything like that necessarily, that I do know from my experiences, I do know from my my life and my journey that that I am a, um, a sacred being that I am a sacred person and and that that we all are but that we we have to in order to really experience that really know that we have to be the one to recognize ourselves and and we have to reflect reflect on our experiences reflect on our own journey, our own myth, you know, our own fairy tale of our life, and to see that, to see where it's taken us and where we came from. So a lot of meditation, I, th I think, a lot of the, the real benefits of meditation are not the silence, are not the quiet, not the peace. It's the remembering. It's the, it's the recollection and the way that the puzzle pieces fit together in those moments and you see, wow, you, you'll remember something from your childhood. You'll remember a miracle, you'll remember a magical event, or you'll see how it all connected. And, and that will give you a sense of wholeness, you know, that, that listening to a lecture or, you know, sitting in silence or, or going to some ceremony might not necessarily give you. It's, it's the remembering who you are that we want the most. It's the remembering our own nature that is the most satisfying. Nothing can really satisfy that except the inner experience, the inner recognition of self. And I've had a lot of experiences this year when I was in India, especially in the Himalayas meditating, and when I was here meditating on the Sontra mountain, where I saw so clearly, so clearly who I am. I saw so clearly who I am on a soul level. And, and having that experience is liberating. Having that experience is, is really freeing because then I'm able to see that, okay, no matter what happens, no matter what my behavior is, no matter who I meet, no matter what I do in this lifetime, I know who I am. I know my soul. And that's actually not going to change. You know, 
We come here for all kinds of reasons, but it's not to change our soul. And it's not to become a different soul 